Masbate City, officially the city of Masbate, Masbateño, Sayadad San Masbate, Hiligaynon, Dokbanwa Sang Masbate, Cebuano, Dakbayan Sa Masbate, Sayadad Sa Masbate, Central Baikalano, Ciudad Nin Masbate, Filipino, Lungsad ng Masbate, is a fourth class city and capital of the province of Masbate, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 95,389 people. As the only city in the province, it serves as the province's main commercial center and chief seaport. The city is more or less situated at the center of Masbate Province and Masbate Island, about 212 aerial miles and 362 nautical miles from Manila. It is noted for its well-protected seaport, with Tikau Island acting as barrier against the effects of inclement weather from the northeast. Being located at the central part of the Philippine archipelago, the city serves as Bicol Region's gateway to the Visayas and Mindanao. It is accessible through sea and air transportation. History The account that Masbate was coined after the words masa and bait or from another word masibit remains anecdotal up to the present spanish colonial era the islands of masbate tikau and burias were explored by captain luis enriquez de guzman in 1569 this exploration work was continued by captain andres de ibarra Ibalan Albay Province assumed jurisdiction over Masbate Islands, and Masbate was named the town's capital village. For security reasons, the seat of government had to be moved time and time again. It was first moved to Mobo and then again, to Guiam. It was later transferred to Palinog near the mouth of Limbong River to make it more accessible to Bicol mainland and to the islands of Burias and Tikau. However, government records were kept inland in Cagay. The political history of the town dates back to the 1850s when the Spaniards established their government under a Spanish gobernator Silo. The Masbateños' vassalage to Spain ended sometime in the early part of 1898 as an offshoot of the libertarian campaign waged by General Emilio Aguinaldo. Philippine American War Sometime after General Aguinaldo inaugurated the Philippine independence at Kawit, Cavite, he issued a military order to overthrow the Spanish government in Masbate and the Visayas. General Justo Lucban and General Diego de Dios acted on this order with the help of Masbateño rebels under the legendary Pedro Quipta. The defeat of the Spanish crown in Masbate could be largely credited to Pedro Quipta. Immediately thereafter, the military government under the Republic of the Philippines was established. But when the American forces reached the municipality of Masbate in November 1900, it took over the government of Masbate without any resistance from the Masbateños. American colonial era After a devastating typhoon in 1908, an executive order was passed annexing the province of Masbate to the province of Sorsogon. Masbate, by force of circumstance, became a sub-province of Sorsogon until 1922 when its provincial status was restored. Shortly before the restoration of Philippine independence in 1946, the town of Masbate was established as the provincial capital. Independent Philippines in the mid-1990s, the idea of converting the municipality into a city was pushed by 2nd District House Representative Luz Cleta Reyes Bacunua. Her successor, Congressman Emilio Espinoza Jr. together with the municipal mayor Juan P. Sanchez Sr. and some local officials and employees took over where she left off. On August 16, 2000, President Joseph Estrada signed Republic Act 8807 converting the municipality of Masbate into a component city. In a plebiscite held later that year, Masbateños voted 7,800 to 3,200 in favor of cityhood, and on September 30, 2000, the Commission on Elections Regional Office in Region 5 officially proclaimed Masbate as a component city. Geography The city is bounded on the northeast by Masbate Pass, on the southwest by the municipality of Milagros and on the northwest by a portion of ASID River and the municipalities of Milagros and Baleno. 
The city's territory, with 37.6 kilometers (23.4 miles) of shoreline, includes 300 square kilometers (120 square miles) of municipal waters, 1,240 hectares (3,100 acres) of mangroves, 560 hectares (1,400 acres) of coral reefs, and 400 hectares (990 acres) of sea grasses. Residential land use covers 229.920 hectares, 568.14 acres, commercial 15.0515 hectares, 37.193 acres, fish ponds 252.9759 hectares, 625.117 acres, and institutional 2813.9192 hectares, 6953.346 acres. Climate Dry season is from February to June and rainy from July to February. Barangays The city is divided into 30 barangays, and further subdivided into paroks English, zone, and sitios. Here are the list of the barangays with their corresponding population as of 2015. Anna's Anas came from the word dangas, which literally means bald. A native whose hair had seriously thinned out at the pate lived in this place. Dangas later on became Angas, and finally Angas became Anas. Anas was established as a barangay in 1880 by the following persons Vicente Larret, Lorenzo Verano, Pedro Bello, Juan Cortez, and Cornelio Bello. The Tenientes who served the barangay in early times were Pedro Bello, Tomas Cortes, Antonio Suplido, Pedro Badillo, Timoteo Asne, Andres Verano, Epifanio Bujian, Felipe Zaragoza, Constantino Zaragoza, Cassiano Larret, Lucio Larret, Bernabe Asne, Carmelito Cortes and Serapio Serrano. The sitios of Anas are Purang, Cabanatahan, Cananab and Libas. Ibingay Barangay Ibingay was originally called Punta Ibingay the name came from the word Binke, or assorted seashells, which children played with, while their mothers were busy with the entre quatro or card playing. In 1973, it was renamed Balo, or swordfish, the kind of fish often caught by fishermen in Ibingay waters. However, Balo did not stick. People continued to refer to the place as Ibingay. So, today, Ibingay remains as its official name. ASID ASID, according to the legend, was formerly called Asin. ASID River separates Masbate City from Milagros Municipality. This barangay is known for its bamboo craft. Incidentally, ASID is also the name for the gulf which is a rich fishing ground in the vicinity of Milagros Town. B. Tatong Barangay B. Tatong was named after Beningo Tatong Jr. who donated the barangay site of B. Tatong. His father, Beningo Sr., was a German national who came to Masbate as a trader of lumber. He settled in what is now B. Tatong. Formerly the place was called Bugsayan. The barangay was established in 1890. The original families of Bugsayan were the Varanos, Tumumbaks and the Tatongs. The first Teniente del Barrio was Bernaldo Verano followed by Eulogio Verano, Isidro Verano, Felipe Verano and Mario Verano. Bagambayan Bagambayan was formerly called Goma. In time, the place was used by laborers as a temporary corral for cattle while the shippers were waiting for the vessel that would transport the animals to Manila. Later, the laborers called the place Bagambayan or New Town when transients built their homes near the shore and a community was created. The name, Goma, was forgotten due to disuse. Today, Bagambayan is bursting at the seams so to speak, because of the influx of people. Bantig Bantig, a barangay across the sea facing the city Poblacion is a fishing village founded by the Boholano fishermen who migrated to Masbate sometime in the 1950s. Its name was derived from the Borabantig tree, a species of mangrove abundantly growing in the Bantig mudflats in the olden days. Bantig Barangay is better known as the place where the native dance. Lepe Bantig 
Originated Bapor Barangay Bapor in earlier times was called Puerto de San Antonio. Then it was named Mule later on, and then renamed El Dorado, because this was the name of the corporation which bought Capra, the bodega of which was called El Dorado. In 1973, it was named Bapor because of the ships that dock at Masbate Wharf, which is found in the barangay. An incident tells that in 1973, when the barangay officials were deliberating and mulling on the proper name for their barangay, an incoming boat sounded its horn. Then, someone in the group said, Why don't we call this place? Bapor, and everyone nodded in approval. Batuan Barangay Batuan came from Kabatuan, meaning, where rocks or boulders abound. The locality of this barangay has a large deposit of marble rocks or Kabatuan. It is unfortunate that up to this writing, no effort has been exerted to quarry the deposit of marbles or to exploit the guano bat droppings and the edible bird's nest from the caves of this barangay. Some of the noted settlers of Batuan were Lucas Zerbito, Felipe Danao, Pedro Rosero, Venancio Natural, Ambrosio Brioso, Nicolas Danao, Francisco Maloons, Apolinario Ebena and Apriniano Torres. The sitios of Batuan are Ed Iden, Makalangkag, Kampun, Bucana, Ilawad, Araya, Pasil, Cabagahan, and Ubo. The barangay was founded in 1882, with Lucas Zerbito as the first cabeza de barangay. The Tenientes del Barrio who were selected by the people through the years were Mariano Cervantes, Toribio Brioso, Enofer Danao, Epifanio Torres, Rufino Cebu, Jose Espinoza, and Agatan Espinoza. Bayamban Bayamban originated from the term Bayong and Bong. Bayong is a large burry bag, where farmers place the things they bought from Malinta during the market days. Bong is a nickname of endearment for a boy. Daraha Tabi and Bayong, Bong, or Please Bring the Bag, Bong. Later it evolved into Bayong Bong, and then Bayomban. Another legend about the name Bayomban tells that it was named Bebe Sa Bobon, which refers to the sand in the well. The sitios of Bayomban are Mapagayan and Makawayan. The barangay was established in 1895 by the following families, Bacar, Torres, Guadio, Andaya, Danao, Recto, Nerza, Francisco and Manlapas. The Tenientes del Barrio were, Fructuoso Candidato, E. Lalio Ramos, Suriaco Beventucios, Bibrano Manlapas, Prudencio Nerza, Heraclio Fermin, Saturnino Tupas, Gaudencio Natural and Crescencio Bacar. Bayong Bayong came from the native term, Lambiyong, meaning whirlwind. Bayong is a level land below Igang Mountain. During bad weather, the wind tends to form into a whirlwind, which usually destroys houses and crops. In the course of time, Lambiyong, shortened to Bayong. This is a farming barangay. Bolo Nipa and Pagbato on are sitios of Bolo. The barangay was established in 1926 by the following people, Daniel Fernandez, Mateo Fernandez, Julian Antonio, Timoteo Valadores, Emiliano Gutierrez, Hilario Domedita. The barangay captains were Fortunato Flores, Mateo Fernandez, Andres Bujian, Cesario Natural, Enrique Regaza, Venancio Azuto, and Bino Gutierrez. Bolo is an Alongo word which means a small variety of bamboo called bolo bagake, which grew abundantly in bolo before. Kage Kage got its name from the common vine plant called Kage. The vine was used for ropes of carabaos because it is stronger than rattan. The sitios of Kage are Kali, Tagbon, and Burabad. The barangay was established in 1897 by Teleforo Rejuso, and the families of Dalanon, Aspares, Maloons, Delos Reyes, Saldivar and Robles. Kawayan exterior Kawayan is a Maspateño word for bamboo. Barangay Kawayan exterior was established in the 1900s. The sitios are, Danao, Billet, Lab Ogan and Pactal. 
The original families of Kawayan were, Hermogenes Verano, Domingo Bihar, Pedro Cabig, Denicio Celeb, Basilio Floresta, Pedro Cornell, Pio Cebu, Timoteo Valadores, Rigaccio Verano, Alberto Cabig and Florencio Fernandez Sr., the father of the governor of Masbate, Jolly T. Fernandez. Kawayan Interior the barangay is called Kawayan Interior because the place were bounded from coastal to upland west was situated in between Bolo, Batuan, and Kawayan Exterior. Since Kawayan Upland is a sitio of Kawayan Coastal, Kawayan Exterior, there happened to be an agreement of splitting into two Kawayans. This was then the idea of a certain leader Mr. Florencio Fernandez Sr. Soon the official separation was made on October 1966 initiative of them Mayor Juan P. Sanchez Sr. According to sources the barangay was organized sometimes in 1971, kind-hearted individuals donated the lot to be the barangay site it was Mr. Leopoldo Brioso who solicited from the late Lope Buncaras Sr. and Antonio Lusanta Sr. to donate. Folks' main sources of income were farming left coastal community and settled fishing remained in the coast to fish for a decent living. Centro Barangay Centro is situated at the center of the city. The first barangay chairman was Mr. Agapito Guadio Sr., followed by Dr. Antonio Chong and Dr. Ricardo Lazaga. Juan Zaragoza and his family resided along Lugsadan during Spanish era occupying his property. Espinoza Barangay Talahib, formerly known as Lomboy got its name sometime in 1972, when the late Tito R. Espinoza became the municipal mayor of Masbate town. Talahib was the former mayor's moniker when addressed by his close associates. Later, Talahib became Barangay Espinoza when an assassin gunned down Tito who died in Quezon City in 1995. F. Magalanes Barangay Magalanes was formerly called Upa. It was a soggy swampy place but because of the Veloso rice mill, which deposits rice hull, the swamp was reclaimed from the sea in the course of time. Eventually, homeless settlers occupied and named the place Barangay F. Magalanes in honor of the late Francisco Magalanes the mayor of Masbate in 1931, and the father of former mayor of Masbate Benjamin M. Magalanes who served the town for 25 years. Igang Igang was named after the sharp stones that litter the area are Kaigangan. The sitios of Igang are Keisha, Kavulu and Mantacon. Kasili, Tuminobo and Bayag. The barangay was established in 1890. The original families of Igang were, Marcos, Pusing, Amaro, Andaya, De La Peña, Gomgam, Esquilo and Arciate. The barangay tenientes were, Zoilo Amaro, Nicolas Lupongo, Benito Marcos, Macario Senid, and Rencio Prasado. J.T. Fernandez J.T. Fernandez is a Poblacion barangay. This barangay was known as Barangay Calape, which means happiness, since the 1973 when the city Poblacion was divided into barangays. Calape was renamed into J.T. Fernandez to honor the former OIC governor and former assemblyman Jolly T. Fernandez through resolution No. 113-94 by motion of Esteban G. Almero on December 20, 1994. Kinamaligan Kinamaligan was an old name. It literally means a camelig or a nipa hut built in the area. Today, Kinamaligan is being urbanized. However, because of the narrow strip between the sea and the roadside, houses are overcrowded. For its expansion, it has to reclaim a generous portion of the sea nearby. Malinta The name, Malinta, originated from the root word, Linta, which means leech, a small, about one inch in length and one quarter inch in width, blood-sucking worm that inhabit the dark but warm forest corridor. When engorged with blood, the worm swells to about two inches in length and a half inch in width. Malinta literally means the place where linta leeches are plentiful. This must have started in the later part of the 1800s when Malinta was still forested. A highland barangay, Malinta is a growing community with 500 households according to the latest census. During Sadan or Tiang market days, Malinta is a center of trade for various goods such as farm products, livestock, fish and assorted commercial commodities. It is a meeting place for minor entrepreneurs and farmers. 
Juan Villamor was the first Teniente del Barrio of Malinta. Mapanya Mapanya may have gotten its name from the piña or pineapple grove, planted in the area. Mapanya means the place where pineapple is plentiful. Mangaran Mangaran probably came about in the 1930s when Pio V. Corpus was a congressman from Osbate. His residential house was built 100 meters away from the road. In order to inform his visitors, the name, Don Pio V. Corpus, was printed and placed right at the roadside. Since then, the people refer to the place, May Naran, which literally means, the site where the name was printed. May Naran eventually evolved into Mangaran. The sitios of Mangaran are Kalpi, Bayag, Pukdal, Bagalahog, Don Lungsad, and Panangdangan. The original families were, Julian Casadangan, Antonio Maloons, Lorenzo Maloons, Jorge Maloons, Lutz Radaza, Leoncio Cavadingan, Isidro Villariz, Macario Cristobal, Juan de Aquino, Antonio Fernandez, and Gregorio Sampaga. Nursery Barangay Nursery, was the original name of the place. Sometime in the 1950s, the area was occupied by the Masbate Provincial Nursery under Mr. Romeo Esquadra, provincial agriculturist. In the course of time, at the periphery of nursery, the population grew. In 1973, the place was renamed Acacia, but like Balo, the name was not popular. The residents continued to call their place nursery. So nursery remains as the official name of the barangay. Pating Barangay Pating, formerly called UBOs, elected Natividad Cervantes whose alias was Pating, the first barangay chairman of the said barangay. Pawa Pawa is a Maspateño term for clearing. In the olden days, the place was heavily forested with mangrove trees. The residents decided to cut the trees and created a clearing. They built a cluster of houses and then in the course of time, Pawa community was formed. Boat building and fishing are the major industries of Pawa Barangay. Tugbo Tugbo Barangay is situated some 4 kilometers south of Masbate City proper. The legend of the place tells that its name originated from Tigbi, a kind of wild plant which thrived abundantly in olden days. Tugbo is a fishing community, no wonder then that the Bajayas who came in droves some two years ago had chosen the shoreline of Tugbo as their dwelling place. Ubongan Dacu Ubongan, on the other hand was named after the portion of the river where residents wait especially during the rainy season when the river swells. Originally, it was Ubogan, meaning, where one wades, from the root word Ubog, or wade. USAB USAB originated from the Cebuano word USAB, which literally means again. When the combined American Filipino Liberation Army came in 1945, it is said that a Cebuano farmer had crossed the street and was almost run over by a large army truck. Later, he told the people that he will not cross the street again if there is a vehicle around by saying. Dili na ako mo USAB paglaka sa kalsada UG na i sakyahan na mo agi. The people named the place where the incident happened. USAB. The barangay is a farming community. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Masbate City was 95,389 people, with a density of 510 inhabitants per square kilometer or 1,300 inhabitants per square mile. The city's majority language is Maspateño, with Hiligaynon, Cebuano and Bicolano following next. Religion the city is the ecclesiastical seat of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Masbate with the Cathedral of St. Anthony of Padua, Masbate Cathedral, as its church. Like most Filipinos, the vast majority of the city's residents are Roman Catholics. Economy 
Masbate City was recognized by the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry as Top 4 Awardee Nationwide in the 2013 Most Business Friendly LGU Award, City Level 3 category. The city is also cited as the 20th most competitive city among 143 cities in the Philippines. The city is the center of trading activities in the province. It serves as the intra-distributor of almost all commodities being traded to other municipalities in the entire province. Industry Masbate's main products are copra and marine resources such as fish. These are traded to Manila, Lucena, Legazpi, and Cebu cities. Other traded products such as dried fish, crabs, prawn, bangus, livestock, and rice are coming from the neighboring or nearby municipalities on the island. Trading relations The city has existing trading relations with Manila, Iligan, Lucena, Daet, Legazpi, Naga, Sorsogon, Panay, Negros, Cebu, Bohol, Ormoc and Tacloban. These are the main destinations of the products traded by the city and those of the other municipalities passing through the city's port. Copra, cattle and aquamarine products are also shipped out to Manila, Cebu, Batangas and Lucena, etc. Shrimps, crabs and prawns are shipped to Japan, mud crabs to Taiwan, headless squid to United States of America and Japan, crab meat to USA and scallops to Europe. The city is importing products mainly from Manila, Lucena, Cebu and Legazpi. These are mostly rice, bakery raw materials, transport vehicles and appliances, farm inputs, construction materials and basic commodities. These are also traded by the city to other municipalities in the whole province. Banking and Finance Masbate City is the financial center of Masbate Province. The total number of banks in the city is 13, consisting of different government-owned banks, universal bank, commercial banks, rural banks, development banks and thrift banks. Banco de Oro or BDO which is the country's largest bank in terms of assets open its first branch in the entire province in the city. Shopping malls LCC Mall and Gaisano Capital Masbate are the only two shopping malls in the city. LCC Masbate is located at Brigi. Bapor, Zerbito Street Port Area, while Gaisano Capital Masbate is located in Cagba Street. Tourism Festivals and events Pagdeo Festival This festival honors, praises and give thanks to the city's patron Saint Anthony of Padua every 13 June of the year, Lepe Bantig Dance Festival. It is celebrated during the city anniversary on 30th day of September. This event highlights the traditional folk dance created by Lola Felisa. Many years ago, when she imitated the graceful movement of the seagull, locally known as Lepe. The dance has evolved and is now recognized by the Cultural Center of the Philippines as one of the official folk dances of the country. This dance was also recognized during the Spanish colonization, Rodeo Maspateño. It is the only rodeo show in Asia. It is celebrated annually in April and showcased 10 competitive rodeo events. Highlighting this event is the difficult figure of eight competition where the cowboy crisscrosses around a group of barrels. Women participate in heart-stopping events like calf wrestling, calf lassoing and carambola. Places of interest Masbate Cathedral Formerly known as the Cathedral Parish of St. Anthony of Padua, is a Roman Catholic Church located at Quezon Street, Masbate City. It is the cathedral or seat of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Masbate. It belongs to the Vicariate of St. Anthony of Padua, which includes also Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish in Malinta, Masbate City and St. Nicholas of Tolentino Parish in Mobo. It was founded in 1578 by Spanish missionaries. Coastal Resource Management Interpretive Center, CRMIC. Being the first of its kind in the Philippines is a great staging point from which you can plan and begin your journey of discovery and exploration of the diverse and amazing natural and cultural wonders of Masbate. Magdalene's Coliseum 
The Magallanes Coliseum is a 1,230 square meter amenity constructed in 2004 as a venue for sports, recreation, and other major city celebrations. Natural attractions Pawa Mangrove Nature Park the city's biggest area of natural mangrove growth, with 300 hectares of mangrove plantation along its 1.3-kilometer boardwalk, bunted sand bar and marine sanctuary. The first established marine sanctuary of the city where live hard and soft coral covers highlights the majestic underwater sceneries, Bugsayan Marine Sanctuary. A 50-hectare marine sanctuary where you can experience to see the amazing live corals and its diverse marine animals, Tattoo Island, also called as Minileo Island. It has a number of openings of various sizes that lead to an underground lagoon where sea snakes and bats reign. Transportation By air the city is accessible by air via the Moises R. Espinosa Airport that is located within the city proper. Philippine Airlines, operated by PAL Express, has flights to and from Clark daily, which takes about an hour. Cebu Pacific, operated by Sebgo, has morning flights to and from Manila daily, and additional afternoon flights of the same route on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. By land Masbate can be reached from Manila by land through South Road to the port of Pio Duran, Albay, Pilar, Sorsogon, and Bulan, Sorsogon. From there, Roro Ferry and Fast Craft take about 2 hours and 15 minutes or motorized boat for a 3-hour ride to the port of Masbate. By sea Masbate can also be reached through the sea on board in the luxury shipping lines from the port of Manila, taking about 16 to 18 hours. Other sea trips are via Dalahican port in Lucina, and to Alan, northern Samar. To the neighboring islands, Masbate City is three hours away by boat from the nearest point in Bicol mainland, three hours away from the nearest point in Burias, three hours away from the nearest municipality in Tikau Island, five hours from the nearest point in the island of Cebu and five hours from the nearest point in Panay Island. Notable people Emilio R. Espinoza, Jr., served as Secretary of Labor under President Ferdinand Marcos. Leonardo Quisimbing, former Secretary of Labor and Employment and Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. B. Rose Santiago, 2013 Miss International. Jesse Robredo, the Secretary who died in a plane crash at Masbate Islands nearby. Kisses de Levine, Pinoy Big Brother, Lucky Seven Housemate. Sister Cities Local Legazpi City, Albay See also Masbateño people Masbateño language List of Bicol Region Cities and Municipalities References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code DILG Regional Office No. 5 Bicol Region Region 5 Local Government Units DILG Region 5 Provincial Offices Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System Masbate-related website